All right, got kind of a random video here. Um, pretty obvious this is a solar-powered light. I believe it was from Timu. Um, it's been kind of an issue for a while now. Um, at first I thought it just wasn't charging, but you can bang on it. Of course, it's not going to do it on camera, but... And it would come back on for a little bit and turn back off. This clearly developed some sort of fault. I don't know if it's moisture inside it or a loose wire or what. But, um... I did go over the solar panel with resin. And that seemed to fix it for a bit. And, you know, the issues have just continued to develop. And then I went outside yesterday and this was about 8 feet away from my front door. Um, I'm guessing the plastic got brittle from the cold and the wind caught it just right and it just absolutely snapped it and threw it off. So, um, time to call it quits on this thing. But obviously, there's stuff in here worth scrapping. I mean, bare minimum, the batteries should still be good. And these are pretty darn good light LED panels so let's break it apart and see what's worth keeping hopefully these extremely rusty screws that might be kind of a hint to uh, the failure point will come out no problem nope. actually that screw that bit might work just fine nope That's not a crosshead. I'm not sure how long I had this thing. I want to say it was probably like 15 bucks. I think it was up for about six months and worked great. Um, part of the issue is, you know, having like 12 cats constantly out on the porch at night, moving around. They're constantly draining the battery, so... I don't think it ever made it through the full night anyway. Um, just because there's too much motion going on out there, constantly triggering it. But, I mean, overall, for the price, like I said, I think it was about 15 bucks. It worked great. I mean, super bright, good motion sensitivity. Um, it always came on after dark until, you know, fairly recently anyway. But obviously, you know, for things to be as cheap as this, they cut corners. I'm sure that this is not well sealed inside. All of these screws are rusty. The panel is obviously a mess. Like, I'm not even going to try to save that. Uh, it was a mess before I put the resin on it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind of panel it is, but... I'm pretty sure it's probably got lead in it, and it's probably not worth trying to save. But I'm sure I can reuse the battery. And I may... Alright, so fairly simple coming from the solar panel. you got positive and negative leads. There's really nowhere water could get inside underneath that panel. Wow, really brittle. But, I mean, even like... That's resin, obviously, and that's separated from the panel itself. Um, I'm not going to mess around with that too much. Like I said, it could contain lead. Looks like it's just too... Uh, 18650 batteries and a pretty simple probably overcharge circuit and motion sensor uh, that could probably be reusable I can't say I'd have anything I'd use it for but 
Let me supply power to it, and you could use it to trigger something. Wow, these screws don't want to come out. So, I don't know if you saw that, but those lights are coming on and off. seeing an obvious point where there's a connection issue. The batteries do look a little bit rusty. <clears throat> These are really the main thing I'm interested in. These are very bright lights. They can definitely be reused. Um, they obviously still work. I may even take them. They might run off of less power and present and pro provide more light than some of the other solar lights I have around. Um, all of the lighting in my house is solar, so quite possible I could use these to upgrade an existing light. Fairly simple circuit. Got a nice bulb on it. Well, those are only going to come out through the front, huh? These wires actually feel really nice. Just for giggles, let's uh Yeah. Those are pretty bright. I mean, that would be fairly useful even off of probably one single 18650. So, uh, looks like HX2740-18 I mean, if you can see and you want to pause and try and count the LEDs in there, go for it I'm not going to And that's really all there is um, I'm not sure even this part's going to be worth saving To be perfectly honest but pretty bright. I think I can reuse them. Even at a lower voltage, they'll probably be brighter than what I'm using in most of the house. So should definitely be useful. I'm not going to film pulling the rest of these out. That would just be a waste of time. But, um, yeah, not bad. You know, these LEDs themselves are probably worth what I paid for the light. And that's that. So actually, I have a little bit to add here. Playing around with this a little bit more. Uh, hooking it up to a single 18650. It gets extremely hot. Very, very fast. So the failure point in this light is pretty obvious. Um, all of these different panels are obviously... To release heat from the LEDs, but these things get very, very hot. And what's sandwiched right up against it? Your solar panel. So that explains that. You get those getting very hot from being used constantly. With your solar panel right up against it. Changes in temperature and everything else. This is doomed to fail. Um... I'm a bit surprised that this isn't melted in any places because within about 15 seconds of connecting this up to an 18650 you're not going to be holding this in your hand anymore. That's 
that's how quickly these get hot. So, yeah. Um, that's a shame. I'm fairly certain that these essentially cook your solar panel and that's why these lights fail. But, nice LEDs anyway. Now, that's that.